Okay, folks, time's up. Let's see who caught the biggest fish. We have a new winner. The heroic looking person who was fishing by the pipes has caught the biggest carp I've seen since Grandpa Jack used to compete. My knights all appreciate a good quest. Unfortunately, our current quest is to rescue Merlin. Back on Terragard, he got himself trapped in some sort of magical crystal. We moved him from the Anankan cave we found him in, and now he's upstairs in his tower. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's not fun being trapped in a giant crystal. Go speak to King Arthur, I'm sure he'll reward you. so-called plague came along and the king forced me to cull all my herds. Over the years I've had to sell off my land to keep myself afloat. Not that the buyers used it mind. But I sense there's a turn in the market for animals. So let's claw back ownership and capitalize on it. And who knows what other animals you might find out in the wider world that you can rear here on the farm. The sky is our oyster.
someone to go on a mission to the city of Ardon. There you will find the house of Lord Handelmort. In his house he has our tribal totem. We need it back. Lord Handelmort is an Ardunese explorer, which means he thinks he have the right to come to my tribal home, steal our stuff and put in his private music. Henrietta and I have been concerned about the lad for a while now. We're not getting any younger, you know, and it will soon be Philippe's turn to represent the noble Carnelian family. Thing is, the lad just hasn't got the spark. He doesn't take the blindest bit of interest in anything beyond the next meal. Henrietta and I hired tutors to teach him natural philosophy, sports, art, everything. He just isn't interested. We thought Philippe would buck his ideas up if he had a girl to impress. So we invited a friend's daughter to stay here. Sars Marilla's a good match for Philippe. Very good bloodline. But Philippe claims she's boring. And she's hardly happy with him either. If Philippe can pass himself off as an adventurer, he'll be respected in the king's court. So I want you to create a quest for him. Was it, Philippe? Do you feel like an adventurer? Yes, sir. Uh, I had an incredible time. He was amazing, Sir Cyril. He killed a huge spell-casting wolf with just a sword. What's this? I didn't say anything about a wolf. Why was there a wolf in my quest? Um, an unfortunate oversight, my lord. Uh, nevertheless, Master Philippe defeated the cave wolf matriarch and saved everyone. A cave wolf matriarch, eh? That's most impressive. Jolly good show. Jolly good show indeed.
You like it. It's simply fabulous, isn't it? A real marvel of modern design made just for my fellow alchemists and I. Or at least it would if we could ever get it finished. See those builders? They've gone on strike for some petty reason about the tower being too weird. Maybe you could finish the work? A great many years of planning and preparation has brought us here, my fellow alchemists. Now we have the Tower of Life. We can already create gold. We can already transform matter from one thing to another. And now we have the ability to create life itself. I'm Lady Serville, and my husband is Sir Serville. We were traveling north with our son Sammy when we were ambushed by General Khazard's men. He has been victimizing my family ever since we declined to hand over our lands. Now he's kidnapped my husband and son to fight in his fight arena to the south of here. I hate to think what he'll do to them. They're not warriors and won't survive against the creatures of the arena. There you go, that's five gold coins. I suggest lying down before you drink it. That way, you have less distance to collapse. I'll run ahead. You saved both my life and that of my son. I am eternally in your debt, brave traveler. I'll let them go, but you must stay and fight for me. You'll make me double the gold if you manage to last a few fights. Get out there. The watchtower here works by the power of magic, an ancient spell designed to ward off ogres that has been in place here for many moons. The exact knowledge of the spell is lost to us now, but the essence of the spell has been infused into four powering crystals that keep the tower protected from the hordes in the Feldips. Magnificent! 
At last you've brought all the crystals. Now the shield generator can be activated and once again Yanil will be safe from the threat of the ogres.
My boyfriend lives here in this lighthouse, but I haven't seen him the last few days. I think something terrible has happened. Look, you can see for yourself that the light has gone out and the front door is locked up tight. He would never do that. With the light off, this coastline is terribly dangerous to ships. We have to do something to get the lighthouse working again, as well as fix the bridge enough so that I can go and speak to my family in Releka and tell them what's happened. I will be eternally grateful, Anneli. Want to take a ride with me? I'm going to Keldagrim, my home. 500 years have passed since the rule of King Alvis, savior of Keldagrim, victim of his own intentions. He founded the consortium, the gathering of mining companies that were to serve the monarchy. But eventually the monarchy came to serve the consortium. By the time of his death, the monarchy was all but abolished. Now the kings in Keldagrim are but a distant memory, with only the statue of King Alvis to remind the people of the old days, the dark days. By the order of the Black Guard, you are under arrest. Come with us, human. Commander Velderburn wants a word with you. You're not under arrest. I merely wanted to talk to you. I am Velderban, son of Dondakan. I am the commander of the Black Guard in Keldegrim. Now listen carefully. I have a task for you. I want you to go and see the local sculptor and help him build a new statue.
Feldaben, commander of the Black Guard in Keldegrim, presenting himself to the consortium with a guest. A human at a consortium meeting, what is this? This human helped to rebuild the statue. He has deserved this honor, surely. Aye. Aye. Amusing, I accept. This is outrageous. I'm warning you, the Red Axe will boycott the trade octagon. Stop your hollow threats and let the human speak. Well then, Apoclis, what is it going to be? I choose the purple pewter. <laughs> You'll regret this, all of you. I cannot express enough how important it is that this train link be completed on time. The mining companies have taken out considerable loans. It gives me great pleasure to declare this new train link open. Aproclis, Zanik has told me about your exploits. It seems that all the dog issue know you are lives once again.
surface dweller. Do you think you can help me? This power station keeps breaking. I can fix it easily with parts from the old power generator on the other side of the cavern, but that's not easy to get to. Do you think you could get something from there for me? Look at that broken part. Let me take it off you. 